Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the virtual machine automation series with computer vision. Let us see the agenda for this video. We are going to start with a recap of the CV scope, which we have already discussed in the first part. We are going to discuss what exactly is a refresh scope, what is its importance and how it is handled in the new CV scope. Post that, we are going to see how exactly can we make use of the new caching strategy which is available in the CV scope. So, first of all, whenever we have to do any of the automation with the computer vision activities, we require the scope which is called a CV screen scope. This actually initializes the UiPath computer vision neural network and it performs analytics based on the certain set of technologies. Whenever we have to use a CV screen scope, we require three things, which is the URL, the local server and the API key. Now, we have already covered all of this in a dedicated video, which is the first video of this series. If you have not watched that, so I have put the links in the description, you can refer that. So to set the CV scope, the API key would be available from the cloud.uipart.com. This is the path. You have to go to the admin, licenses, robot and services, and you have to just simply get the computer vision key. Once you have the computer vision key and you have the CV application scope, you are ready to do your CV screen scope automation. Moving forward, now let us see the problem statement which we are trying to address today and then we are going to come back to the presentation. This in front of me, I have a remote desktop connection where I have opened a website which is called yahoo.com. Okay. So for example, I am writing an automation where I have to first click on this button which says finance. Once the finance page is loaded, I have to search something here, maybe anything, right? Maybe Tesla, Microsoft or UiPath. We just have to search something here in this search button like this. Okay, and then we have to hit enter. Once this page is loaded, let's say we want to extract some of the information. Now the task is simple. We have to go to the home. We have to click on finance and we have to do something, something on the screen. Okay, so the requirement is simple. Now let me go back to my UiPath studio and I'll create a new sequence. I'll call this sequence as refresh scope because that is the topic for today. I'll go here and I hit create. Okay. Once it is loaded, the first activity which we are going to take is the CV scope activity, right? CV under the computer vision, you have the CV screen scope. Drag and drop it here. And since we have already configured, I already have the API key and the URL with me. In case you are new, you need to watch the first video to get both of them. Now to start the automation, the first thing we have to do is we have to always use this one which says indicate on screen. I click on indicate on screen and I point it to the remote desktop RDP. Now what would happen? UiPath OCR engine will run and it will detect the elements on the screen. And if you notice that we have now got this thing which says that it is able to identify all of these elements, right? Now, if I have to click on this button, which was our requirement to click on this finance button, I simply go to the activities and I use an activity which is called CV click. Okay, I just go here and I say CV click, which is under the computer vision. As soon as I drag and drop the CV click here, I need to indicate the element on the scope, right? That which element you want to click. I just simply say indicate on scope and I want to click on this button, which says finance, right? Now you would see that UiPath is not able to uniquely identify this element because finance and news is available here. Finance and news is available here as well, right? So in the previous video, we have also learned something about the anchor. So I'll quickly go and update the anchor with this guy. And that's it, right? Now it is having a two anchor thing and it is simply going to click on the finance, right? Now, what was our next objective? Once we have clicked on the finance, it is coming to a new page, which is called finance.yahoo.com and the layout of the page has changed. Now, 
before the 20.10 version of the cv activities whenever there was a new page which was getting available here we need to again reapply the cv computer scope so that we could do the automation why that was required because if you would see here as of now it is only indicating to the first page right which was yahoo.com and now once you have clicked on the finance it has redirected to a new page right so this cv scope does not have that information so if i use a click here i was supposed to refresh the scope and i was supposed to use a new screen scope activity now this was the older version which was in 20.10 if you go to the project, you would notice that I am having the UiPath.UI automation and I am in 21.10 version. Now, what is new with this version? Let me quickly go to activities and let's say now we want to type something on this one which is called finance.yahoo.com. Okay, so if I simply go here and use an activity which is called type into, normal type into would not work here, so we are going to take the CV type into drag and drop the cv type into in this scope now if you notice here my scope still indicates to the yahoo.com whereas i want to do the automation on finance.yahoo.com right the layout is different now if i simply go here and i say indicate on scope and point it to this button right you would notice that this guy is telling me that your application state has changed cv type into has detected an update what do you want to do do you want to use the current version or you want to update it right so since we want to do the automation on the new one we simply go and click on this one which says update now what would happen you would notice that now uipath cv is trying to identify all the elements on the screen with the new one which is called finance.yahoo.com right now if i simply go and i say that i want to do the automation here right so you would notice it has already created the anchor it has already done this thing and it is asking you what do you want to type so let's say i simply want to type here microsoft okay so this is a text so it would be in double quotes i'll go here and i simply write microsoft once this is done i simply want to use a enter key so i just go to this drop down and i select the enter now what would happen it will go and click on this enter button now before the 20.10 version if i have to do this operation we actually require the second cv screen scope right because the screen scope was changing so we require a new one but with this one if you would see here both the screens are available in the same scope one of two and two of two which means that how many automations i do i do not have to copy and paste the different cv scope everything is now catered in the single cv screen scope activity right now what all options i can have so if you see here by default it has given this screens a name so this is the first screen and this is the second screen right so the first screen was called the home page so you have an option which says the edit one now you can actually go here and you can change it to something like finance main or you can say that finance main home right that was one now what is the second one the second one was this which is the actual home page so if you want to check you can do it like this and i say that yes this is my second screen where i was doing something so let's say this was for the search of microsoft that's it we can rename is as per our requirement so that we can actually understand that which screen is doing what right so this is the new update which has happened and this is called the new caching strategy right now one thing to notice here both the activities are in the same cv scope right so how would the click activity know that where i have to perform the operation right so that is controlled by this one which says the selected screen right so it says that this is going to happen on the main screen this is going to happen on the search microsoft screen right and it is already created the anchor as well right so i just need to go and save this right so this is with the new update in the cv scope let me save this go here and we'll try to run the file okay i'll go back to the main home page 
okay so the home page is available here if I simply go here and I say let me pull up the VD and we go to UI path and I say here run the file now you would notice that the automation is going to perform on two different screen inside the remote desktop okay so the robot has started first it should go and click on the finance as you can notice that it has clicked on the finance page now it is going to do the operation on the finance.yahoo.com right so the VD is now navigating to finance.uipart.com once it was available it simply went and typed Microsoft so if I go back to my VD you would notice that I am in the finance.uipart.com and the query Microsoft was fired right so now with the help of this one I was able to perform automation on different different screen with a single screen scope activity okay now let me go back to my presentation and let's see what is there okay so now in my presentation I have written something which is called a CV refresh activity so before the 20.10 release whenever there was a new screen which was added to the automation the screen was identified the UI interaction has to happen and every time we need to re-indicate and refresh the screen right so that is why there was a dedicated activity which was called the CV refresh activity which was available this was applicable when we are using the old set of automation where for every screen you need to have a new layout new CV scope and then to refresh it you need to dedicatedly use an activity which was called the CV refresh activity right now let us see what UiPath has made the changes now if you will see here we have got this thing which is called the new caching strategy now what is this the computer vision rely on the states UI interaction such as click type into and everything happens on the screen which are cached with the 20.10 screens are automatically cached inside the single CV screen scope right as we have seen when I was working on the two different screen both the screens were available in a single CV screen scope Whenever the activities are added, the developer has now an ability to switch the screen whichever we want to add, right? We can actually rename the screens and then we have to select the respective screen. No matter how many number of activities and screen we use in the computer vision, there would be always a single CV screen scope activity which would be used right now once we have a single CV screen scope activity which is taking care of all the screen the CV refresh activity has been deprecated there is no longer to do a force refresh this was required in the previous version so the CV refresh activity has been deprecated in the newer version of the UI automation package this has been integrated as a property right so whenever there is a refresh required so let's say for example we are trying to get some text out of the CV we are going to read some text right and that time I want to do a force refresh right so previously the CV refresh activity was there but now this property is built in inside the activities right so let us see that what exactly is that so I'll go back to my UI path and for example I want to take some data out of the CV right so I simply type here CV and you see that I have something which is called CV get text right now indicate on scope just indicate which text you want to get and in the properties you would notice that there is something which is called a refresh before property right so do you want to refresh or you don't want to refresh prior to this version you have to manually drag and drop an activity which was called the CV refresh right now that has been deprecated and it is an integrated property of the CV activities right so this is what the new caching strategy of the CV application scope let's have a quick recap we have seen that how exactly can we use the CV refresh activity which was used in the previous version of packages we have this new caching strategy which is available which is by default taken care now if you want to work on the different different screen I only require a single CV scope wherever there is a requirement of doing a force refresh the refresh is now integrated within the activities so there is no need to extra add the refresh activities again okay so that is all for this video I would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video 
please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation. Thank you.